Communication is a complex and intricate aspect of human interaction, and it's no secret that men and women sometimes misunderstand each other. While it's essential to remember that stereotypes and generalizations can't capture the full scope of any gender, there are still common misunderstandings and miscommunications that can lead to what may seem like lies. In this video, we will explore nine common misunderstandings in communication between men and women, shedding light on why they occur and how to foster better understanding. 1. I'm fine. One of the most notorious statements in any relationship is when a woman says, I'm fine, when she's clearly not. This is often misunderstood as a lie when, in reality, it can be a result of wanting to avoid conflict or hoping that the partner will notice and inquire further. Instead of assuming dishonesty, it's essential to gently probe for more information if you sense something might be amiss. 2. I don't care. Similar to, I'm fine, when a woman says she doesn't care, it might not necessarily mean she truly doesn't care. It can imply that she's leaving the decision up to her partner or that she hasn't formed a strong preference. Instead of interpreting it as indifference, engage in a conversation to determine her true feelings. 3. It's okay, forget it. When a woman says, it's okay, forget it, it can be interpreted as a way to dismiss a problem or avoid confrontation. However, she might genuinely want to move on and not dwell on an issue. In such cases, it's crucial to respect her choice and avoid revisiting the topic unless she initiates it. 4. I don't want anything for my birthday. Many men have heard this statement, only to find themselves in hot water when they take it at face value. It's not always a lie. Sometimes, women genuinely don't want gifts or surprises. However, it's a good idea to probe a little deeper to ensure you're not misinterpreting her true desires. 5. I've only had a few partners. Some women may downplay their past relationships due to societal expectations or fear of judgment. However, it's crucial to remember that a person's relationship history doesn't define their worth. Instead of dwelling on the number, focus on the present and the connection you share. 6. I don't mind where we eat. Choosing a restaurant can be a delicate matter, and some women might say they don't mind to be accommodating. However, it's often a good idea to suggest a few options or ask if there's a particular cuisine she's in the mood for. This way, you can ensure both of you have an enjoyable dining experience. 7. I'll be ready in 5 minutes. While it's a common joke that women take longer to get ready, this statement is often a matter of optimism rather than deception. Sometimes, unforeseen circumstances can delay the process. To avoid frustration, it's helpful to build in extra time when planning outings. 8. I don't want to talk about it. Women, like men, may have moments when they don't feel like discussing a particular topic. This doesn't necessarily mean they're hiding something or lying. It may be related to personal boundaries or the timing not being right. It's essential to respect their wishes and revisit the conversation later if necessary. 9. I'm not hungry. Women, like anyone else, can have varying appetites at different times. When a woman says she's not hungry but later eats something, it's not necessarily dishonesty. Factors like stress, emotions, or changing preferences can influence appetite. It's important to offer food without pressure and respect her choice. Here are some example stories that illustrate common misunderstandings in communication between men and women. The Dinner Dilemma John and Sarah decide to go out for dinner. Sarah says, I don't mind where we eat. John interprets this as her being indecisive, so he suggests a Mexican restaurant. Sarah agrees but later seems unhappy with the choice. In reality, Sarah loves Mexican food but said she didn't mind to be accommodating, assuming John might have a preference. The birthday surprise. It's Jennifer's birthday, and she tells her boyfriend, Mark, that she doesn't want anything for her special day. Mark, thinking she's being honest, doesn't plan anything. On her birthday, Jennifer feels hurt that Mark didn't make an effort. She meant she didn't want an extravagant gift, but she expected a heartfelt gesture. The, I'm fine, conundrum. After a heated argument, Emily says, I'm fine, and retreats to another room. Her partner, Michael, takes it as a sign that she's no longer upset. In reality, Emily is far from fine, but she hopes Michael will notice her distress and initiate a conversation to resolve their issues. The Relationship History Tom and Lisa are sharing their relationship histories. When Tom asks Lisa about her past partners, she mentions only a few. Tom is surprised when he later learns from mutual friends that Lisa had more relationships than she initially disclosed. 
Lisa felt embarrassed and judged for her past, so she downplayed it. The dressing time delay. Mark and Sarah are getting ready for a special event. Sarah tells Mark she'll be ready in five minutes. Twenty minutes later, Mark is growing impatient. He thinks Sarah was lying about the time it would take her. In reality, Sarah was optimistic and didn't foresee her dress zipper getting stuck, which caused the delay. The, I don't want to talk about it, moment. After a tough day at work, Jane comes home and tells her husband, David, that she doesn't want to talk about it. David, thinking she's just tired, proceeds to discuss his own day. Jane feels unheard and upset because she wanted emotional support, not a diversion. The, I don't care where we go, scenario. Lisa and Tom are planning a weekend getaway. Tom asks Lisa where she would like to go. Lisa responds with, I don't care, you decide. Tom chooses a mountain cabin for the trip. During the drive, Lisa seems disappointed, as she was hoping for a beach vacation. She meant she trusted Tom's judgment but had a preference in mind. The unsolicited advice. Sarah is talking to her boyfriend, Mark, about a problem she's facing at work. Mark listens carefully and then starts offering solutions. Sarah becomes frustrated because she wasn't seeking solutions. She just wanted someone to listen and empathize with her. The, I'm not hungry, paradox. Emily and Michael go out for dinner. Emily orders a salad, but Michael notices she doesn't eat much of it. He asks if she's okay, and Emily says she's not very hungry. Michael feels like Emily isn't enjoying the dinner. In reality, Emily was trying to eat lightly but didn't want to explain her dietary choices in detail. The movie night mismatch. James and Emma decide to have a movie night. James suggests an action-packed thriller, and Emma agrees, but throughout the movie, she seems disinterested. James assumes she dislikes the film but later discovers that Emma was just tired and preferred a lighter, romantic movie that evening. The misinterpreted silence. Sarah and Mark have a disagreement. After some heated words, Sarah falls silent. Mark takes this as a sign that the argument is over and leaves the room. Sarah, however, wanted Mark to approach her and continue the conversation to find a resolution. The, I don't want anything, gift. On Valentine's Day, John asks Laura if she'd like a gift. Laura says, I don't want anything. John takes her at her word and doesn't get her anything. Laura is disappointed because she hoped for a small token of affection, even if it wasn't extravagant. These stories highlight how misunderstandings can occur when men and women have different communication styles, expectations, or motivations. Open and empathetic communication is essential to resolve such situations and maintain healthy relationships. Conclusion Misunderstandings in communication between men and women can often lead to the perception of lies or deception. However, it's vital to remember that these situations are typically a result of different communication styles, expectations, and social norms. Instead of jumping to conclusions, the key to healthy relationships lies in open and empathetic communication, where both partners strive to understand each other's perspectives and motivations better. By addressing these common misunderstandings with patience and empathy, men and women can foster more meaningful connections and avoid unnecessary conflict. Thanks for watching.